Please subscribe this Spiky Tech channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Hi everyone, this is TSM from Make It Tech. Hi guys, I hope you all are good and doing great. Hi guys, in this 2020, recently the Realme launches the smart TV in India. So, whereas the unit I have was 32 inches, so I was been testing this TV from the past few days onwards. I have watched a lot of movies and also I have tested the video in different lighting conditions. Uh, the result seems quite impressive. So, in this video, let's take a brief look in this Realme TV. Let's talk about the design and the build quality. The build quality was solid strong it comes with 32 inches screen as the company said the bezels was narrow and thin at the front side of the TV we have seen at the bottom side they have seen the realme texture so under the texture we've seen the signal receiver was placed at the back side of the TV panel we have seen the ports was arranged in a row there was two ports for USB and there was a LAN port for internet connectivity and, uh, and also guys they added HDMI port 1, port 2, port 3 which means you can able to use this TV 3 HDMI ports and you can switch from one port to another port easily and also it comes with the antenna input port along with the AV input and also they added digital audio output port. At the bottom side of the TV we have seen there was the speakers and it's the speakers was quad speakers along with the traitors was arranged at the bottom of the TV panel and also the weight of the TV is around 3.7 kgs which includes the base stands its weight is around 3.7 without the base stands the company said the weight is just around 3.6 kgs. Hey guys that's it about the design and the physical overview of the TV. Hey guys, now let's talk about the display. I'm really impressed by the display. It comes with a HD and it's LED screen technology they are used here. And whereas the another variant they launched in India was 43 inches, it's the full HD. But whereas the unit I have was 32 inches. So let's look into the display in a brief way. Whereas guys, it comes with a HD display at the resolution of 1366 into 768. And it comes with a brightness level at 400 nits brightness. And also guys the one more interesting thing is it comes with the chroma bush technology so that's the reason even though it's hd display the quality of the picture colors was very rich and accurate i was very impressed with the display because of this chroma bush texture you guys can check out with these videos during this chroma bush technology the colors looks very rich and it's just enhanced the colors you guys can check the videos it looks very sharp, vivid and the crystal clear. The dynamic range of the videos and the overall experience by using this Realme Smart TV was very nice. Just look at the colors, how nice it was with the naked eye. I don't know how the DSLR catching the video clips, but anyhow, with the naked eyes, the images was very sharp and beautiful. I even thought whether it is the HD display or even the Full HD, I was confused myself by just looking this uh, colors production due to this chroma bush technology so guys i have checked in all lighting condition to test the tv in different angles and different lighting situations but it's done a fantastic job whereas guys this tv comes with a 60 hz screen refresh ratio and also the viewing angles was also very good if you watch the tv in the side angle also it's good but keep in mind you need to maintain certain distance between you and the tv at least one and a half meter or two meters is a good idea the distance between you and the tv then only you guys can experience the best display quality not only this tv any tv if you want to feel the experience of the display then it is better to maintain the distance between you and the tv at least one 0.5 or even the 2 meters away and also guys in the picture modes they added a few styles like standard picture profile vivid picture profile sports mode along with movie mode gaming mode and energy saving mode and also they added the user mode also you can customize with these modes Whereas guys, this TV comes with a MediaTek processor and it's a quad-core processor and also it comes with a Mali GPU 470 MP3 GPU so which means we can able to play the games I mean by default it comes with 1 GP RAM along with 8 GP storage out of that 8 GP roughly we will get around 4.6 storage so I have downloaded some video files from the Play Store so I have played the games it's a good experience hence to download anything we need to go to the Play Store Google play store we have some apps was available but keep in mind all apps was not available they given few apps was limited because it's android tv 
it's not a smartphone so hence we need to download our preferred app so in my case i have downloaded a car racing game and i can happily play that game i use my tv remote as a joystick and i can able to move the directions and i can happily play the game without any kind of issues but keep in mind all games does not support the joystick but whereas this particular game what i have downloaded is uh, able to operate by using the tv remote so i can easily use my remote as a joystick and i can happily drive the car you guys can check out from this video clip so hence it comes with a pure android tv so there was no ui about the realme the user ex experience was complete pure android google support tv and also guys it comes with bluetooth conversion i mean the tv can support the bluetooth i can connect my wireless bluetooth uh, headphones i can watch the lot of movies with this tv by connecting these headphones my god the experience was really great so i will going to show you how it works this tv comes with bluetooth so we can easily connect our wireless headphones with the help of the bluetooth further we need to go to the settings then go to the remote and accessories then your tv will start searching then you bring your headphones but keep in mind you need to bring your headphones to the pairing mode then only it can able to detect so once your headphones was detected you need to click on the realme tv now it was going to pair in your realme tv then the next screen you will see the option pair then you need to click on the pair option that's it guys your bluetooth headphones was connected to your realme tv and also i have watched a videos or uh, horror movies with the help of these headphones by realme the experience was really fantastic besides i was using the sennheiser premium headsets so the sound quality was good uh, in my friend there was a realme which was very awesome in display so uh, both was it's a great experience but keep in mind sometimes whenever the bluetooth connectivity was not working at that time we need to unpair the bluetooth and pair it again then it will be solve the problem whereas guys this realme tv comes with chroma cache technology which means if you're watching your youtube videos in your mobile phone by just a single tap you can play those videos in your realme smart tv just like this hey guys we can easily connect our mobile phone to the realme tv by screen mirroring by just single tap like this and it's very easy and quick but keep in mind there should be little bit of delay between the tv and the mobile phone of course we can do anything in the mobile phone but there should be little bit of delay i just open the gallery so i was going to play a dance which was done by my sister you can see the dance was playing in the mobile phone now the dance was playing in the tv means there was a little bit of delay you can just observe the steps in the mobile phone on the tv screen i mean there was a delay but keep in mind due to this delay you won't uh, get bored or uh, you won't miss a fun because if you if you are uh, keep watching just by looking in your realme tv then it's a good experience but if you comparing the both mobile phone and the tv simultaneously then you will uh, notice the delay which means you will get the bore please please keep that in mind the tv remote looks very slim and beautiful there was a dedicated button for netflix youtube and prime and also google assistant and also they added the mute button which was a good thing so finally guys the tv comes with uh, dolby atmos support speakers it's the quad speakers it's 24 watt speakers the sound quality was really good and loud so i was very happy with the sound quality and the picture so guys after watching the picture quality and the sound in this tv i thought i was very impressed with this tv uh, because of the display and because of the sound quality i was very impressed with the tv so the cost of the tv is around 13000 rupees whereas in my home we have sony bravia the cost is around 70000 rupees i thought what is the difference between this realme tv and the sony because it is 13000 rupees whereas the tv in my home is 70000 rupees i think i have uh, invested more amount for the branded value like a sony bravia so hence i have compared this tv with the sony bravia in my home then i realized that a bravia i mean I, i'm not comparing the 70000 panel with this 13000 panel but of course this tv gives almost equal competition to the bravia but anyhow bravia was the final successor but anyhow it was really fantastic display uh, the colors was very rich 
uh, due to that chroma bush technology and also the due to that all this somewhat the speakers at the bottom side was really very loud and keep in mind the speakers was is good for the room which was small room but if you have a very large room then it's better to go for the home theater so finally guys in one word uh, this realme tv if you look at the competitors there was the ma tv vu tv was available in the man along with other brands was available with this TV but anyhow uh, if you compare the specs almost everything is equal but in terms of picture quality due to this chroma push technology in this TV was the best if uh, if you compare those both TVs um, but anyhow I do not have MI but once upon a time I have the MI TV I have watched the video but when I was watching this TV I was very surprised and also I haven't just observed that if you haven't used the TV it just go to the uh, lock screen so so you can see the screen displays or lock screen wallpapers were changed rapidly from time to time. So anyhow guys for this budget range the 13, 32 inches TV was best. If you are going to the Full HD its cost is around 22,000 but instead of buying that you can go for by adding 3 more thousand which means 25,000 you can go for 4k panel but whereas if you're looking for the budget TVs like this in 32 inches it's cost is around 13,000 I think so so it is the best deal uh, besides that VU and the MA panels because of this chroma bush technology and also those TVs comes with around 20 watt speakers but whereas this TV comes with 20 four watt speakers along with the traders and also everything was good and uh, it's one of the best value for money and also guys they're giving one year domestic warranty and two years warranty for the panel so that's it in this video guys if you have any special questions please let me in the comment section i was very happy to assist you thank you so much for spending your valuable time with me please subscribe our channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the further notifications thanks a lot for your love support and commitment i see you very soon we are family stay connected take Hey.